Burgundy produces a really wide range of wines. Anything from light, fruity, aromatic whites to fuller bodied, really rich whites for long aging. Then we have some rosé, a little bit of sparkling wine, Cremant de Bourgogne. And then it also produces a range of reds from fruity, easy drinking, very approachable, young drinking reds to reds that are more serious and require long aging. Of course, this gives us an opportunity to pair these wines with pretty much any food you can imagine. So for example, the light, fruity, aromatic whites, like the one we have here from Macon, pairs really well with appetizers, with lighter foods, with cheese, um, salami, prosciutto, things like that, to start a meal. A lot of these wines also go really well by themselves. The fuller-bodied wines obviously pair well with fuller-bodied cheeses, something like brie, fuller-bodied foods, um, whether it's roasted chicken or fish and cream sauce or pasta with cream sauce. The reds are also great for food pairings. They have this wonderful acidity that refreshes the palate. So the younger reds will pair really well with, again, prosciutto and salame. Uh, mushrooms are a really great pairing for Burgundy because of that earthiness of flavor, both in the wine and in the food. The fuller bodied, long aged, tannic Burgundies are great pairing for red meats, um, for things like venison and wild boar. So game, strong foods, strong meats. Um, roast beef. Beef bourguignon is of course a legendary dish of Burgundy and it's made with red wine. Coquavin, same thing, so chicken cooked in red wine for a long time. Whatever food you can imagine, you can find a Burgundy wine to pair it with.